What's up, y'all? Pineapple Jack back again from the 4th of July weekend. And sorry, then I uploaded a video on Sunday. No, I'm super late. It's been Tuesday already, but your boy went on a little bit of a bender. Bender's over, holiday's done. So we're back to doing the things that we are here to see. Lesson for the day is gonna be how to make a, well, how to make a Swiss perk? Is how to make a Swiss perk, or like a Swiss, well, I call them perks because water travels up through them, so they pretty much act as a perk naturally, but this video I'm gonna show you how to make a Swiss uh, perk. For an example, I made one recently. I'll put a little video up. So that's a Swiss daddy. And you see how the water travels upward through it? That's why they're called Swiss perks because it's a natural perk. It's cool. Anyway, let's uh, get to the lesson on how to do that. Alrighty, so, um, let's see here. All right, we're gonna go the blank size. So for these, I like, I like to have them big. So I started the blank with uh, maybe like four, five inches. And it's 42 millimeter heavy wall, extra heavy wall. And for this, I um, to get this, I want the most perfect like circle round shape possible. So I'm gonna drill a bunch of heat into the front of it, and get it like thick. And then once the front is hot, you can see here I start drilling heat right in the back of it, like where closest to my hand, because um, that's the part that you, you kind of ignore the heat, but or it doesn't get as much heat to puff out. So you want that part to be like, make sure it's puffed out. So now that it's puffed out, kind of. It kind of gives you the base for how big your uh, like squatted little squish is gonna be. So now that that's going, you're gonna focus a lot of heat on the front, middle too. But keep in mind you want the whole thing hot. You don't want anything to cool down because you want it to be like a circle. So right there, just perfectly spinning. And if it gets kind of wonky, that's because your heat base isn't good. But spin it. Always keep spinning, and then um, put in like light puffs. But if you puff and it's uneven, that's because your heat base is wrong. So make sure you're soaking a lot of heat. Now I'm gonna, since the front is out like a bubble, I'm gonna focus some heat on towards my blow handle side. And you just, uh, just drill some heat in that baby. And get it floppy. Give it some puffs. And I'm gonna squish here. Boom. And this is uh, it's easier than, it looks intimidating if you've never done it before, but it's pretty fun. And I used to do this for all my donuts, but now I do it a little differently. But for uh, Swiss, it's perfect. So now that you got that, that's a, all right, the shirt, the shots, like afterwards like that, it's all blurry, they get, they get better. But this is a new uh, little mount I'm working with, so work with me. And now for a donut, oh, there you go, that's a good one. And for donuts, people do everything. So I use these two tools. One on the right, I use for donuts. One on the left, I use for like tiny, tiny holes. So for what I do for my donuts is I pop two holes on each side like so. Um, people do like Jesus seals. They pop one side, don't pop the other. But me, I like popping each side and pushing them together. So you pop one side after you blow out a blister for each so you know like, where it's going to be. And to pop the other hole, I just put a little reamer in there and pop. And sometimes you get a pick away glass, sometimes you don't, but this one I did not. I ended up actually needing glass. I these my I'll show you if they don't touch perfectly, you have to use your um tungsten pick. Alright, so for this hole you want to do it just like a bowl. So you want to get each side hot and then switch sides after like two rotations around the circle because it's like um it's gravity, so if, if you just let it get drill in the heat on one side and don't flip sides, it'll just it'll be off center. So make sure that you do that. So like go around, a little circle. We're drilling the heat if it's super thick. Make sure you're make sure you're drilling around it, not the hole necessarily. You want to drill around the hole because that's what you're pushing. Really drilling in heat here. And then you wanna just go for the push. Boom. You got a donut. But we're not here for the donut. We're going Swiss cheese tonight. Alright, so um they like I was saying, they, they sometimes they don't touch. This is why this way isn't the best, but it, it works out because you just use the tungsten pick like so. And this can save you from any like situation. But the walls aren't touching, you just get it hot. And make sure when you're doing this, you want to get one side, flip it, get the other. Keep flipping. 
and just push them together. And if it's not pretty, you can ream it out. And that saves everything, because you use a bunch of heat to get the walls all even. I'll even show you the little trick I do to do that. So you can just ream it white like right now and be fine, but I do so many donuts, I've learned it'll make them look the prettiest. And this is how I do it. So after I got the hole, I'm gonna get it all hot, push it. So that's why my, my uh, I wanna get that size the whole time. And then what I do now for um, like getting the perfect like wall thickness for the middle of the donut, I'll heat up like a quarter each side. So like right now I'm doing just uh, the top of it. And then do that. And then go in, do just the side. And you go in and ream it. And so you do that in like quarters. And then after you do that, you get it super hot all around, and then you just ream it out to one thing. But this will really help you, uh, the donut center, to look a lot better. And it won't crack or nothing, because sometimes you can get some weird like angles. Oh, we'll put the bigger reamer now. So after you do all that, the quartering or whatever, you're gonna get it all equally hot. Then you're gonna go for your final push. And I really heat up the center. I don't know what's the right way to do this, but I heat up just the walls of the middle donut. That seems to work out pretty well. And like that, no funny stuff on the inside walls. It's all good. And so for a Swiss, you really just do that. There's no uh, tricks here. Later I use a smaller, like a reamer, to push it instead of the big bowl push. That's literally it. So the rest of the video, you can just enjoy it. I make the Swiss. I'll put uh, music behind it, but um, you know the deal. Please um, subscribe <laughs> and click the notification bell because I'm going to start putting out more videos. And I appreciate everything. So drop a comment what you want to see next. Power to the Swiss.